you can have the same exact deal and you can have a good operator buy that and a bad operator and that good operator is going to make that deal work so much more and here are some examples right so not such a good operator would take the deal maybe get the low hanging fruit right maybe the rent bumps from the market and the rent growth they're going to be probably very highly focused on occupancy and they're going to be thinking that's a kpi honestly occupancy is not even a kpi for us my concern is more what are we actually collecting i'd rather have a 90 percent occupied property that's collecting more income than a 98 percent occupied property right so 96 percent occupied property with 8% delinquency, I'd rather 94% occupied with 1% delinquency is going to bring me more income and can increase my NOI more. But a lot of times, investors focus just on the occupancy. Higher expenses, not digging into expenses and having just wasteful money being spent on things that, that aren't necessary. And maybe this bad operator just looks at the monthly financials and tries to react from those, which at that point, it's too late. You've already performed poorly, at least for that period. And then a good operator is gonna, sure, they're gonna get those rent bumps from rent growth, but they're also gonna look at adding other income. They're gonna look at what, what are our residents already paying for that maybe we can supply or we can somewhat get organize it and get in the middle of it and, and collect some profits from there. There's so many things from internet to uh, renter's insurance, focusing on the resident criteria, then also lowering expenses. So negotiating actual contracts, consolidating some of the expenses, getting rid of some expenses that aren't necessary, and then constantly reviewing the KPIs and making adjustments. You're gonna see that a lot, right? And that's one of the most important things is having a way to track your KPIs and then forecasting and, and seeing the issues before they arise and making those adjustments as needed. So, you know, here's just a, an example, assume a hundred unit property, you've got a good operator and the not so good. If you're able to get a hundred more per unit per month with that good operator, that's 120,000 increase in NOI, which at a five cap would be 2.4 million added in value. So just having those systems in place and being a good operator, you can easily add another $2.4 million to that same property.